Hazard shown from the games yard. Hearts of Iron, their finest hour. Paradox's finest hour, I would say. <laughs> okay, where were we last? Uh, yeah, I was 16. All right, we can remember. All right, cool. Let's go back. Let's play. Hmm. Okay, cool. We're in. All right, let's just update. Let's just update the the to the new day, so we can get the uh, proper stats through. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go, 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 go. I hate moving this too fast because you can't click fast enough to stop. All right, 21, 22, 23. Okay, there we go. We stopped. And we also... Uh, <coughs> central planning. Uh, so it's great. That's in our land doctrines. All right, so we'll look at that now. now. All right, so where are we? We're sitting at minus 11 energy. We have... we have, Well, the great news is we're improving in our metal and we're improving in our rare materials. And also our oil's going up. We're losing a lot of money. So we have to make a plan for that. All right, let's just see what's updated in technology. Oh, there we go, land technology. So, it was the Central Planning 3. Where are you, Central Planning 3? Okay, this is 38 tech. I'm not going to do this, okay? I'm not going to do this 38 tech because we don't... It's a, it's a nice tech to have, but we need to concentrate on Germany's tech. So, I'm going to take that out and cancel that. But, as I promised in the last... In the last video, I'm coming back to armor. We need to get all this up to date. So before we put any more techs in land over here, we're going to get one in armor for 38. We're going to get started with that one. Start the research. Very important that that thing gets... Because this took a while, this 36. And it's a 5. It's fairly fairly difficult tech. We need that. All right, it's more important than the land doctrines right now. We'll come back and we'll start working on the land doctrines afterwards. Uh, infantry... We are chugging along nicely. All right. Just while we are. Uh, I am getting diplomacy. We're putting, we got four in and we, we're getting some extra spies, which is helping us. We're running short of diplomatic, dipl diplomats. So, so what I'm going to do now that I see that we are running short on diplomats. I'm going to take everything off espionage. Let me just take this off here. And I'm going to push it all. Oh, geez. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Sean, 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 Sean. Uh, not a diplomacy. We go. <laughs> We're gonna push all of this down to the bottom. There we go. All right. So there we go. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna collect some diplomats for a while. Say about five or two. All right. Until we get our diplomatic situation handy, we're gonna need it because we need some money. Oh uh, yeah. So that's the that's that field done. Diplomacy. Uh, Mr. Germany, we are still influencing Switzerland. Did I put Switzerland last time? Are we influencing Switzerland? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What happened here? Let me go back to technology. We're spending... Inf oh, okay. Maybe I got this access. Germany. There we go. Why have we put money in Switzerland? No, these four. But why is Switzerland being... Uh, maybe the, the game is doing this automatically. Because we didn't put anybody in Switzerland. We didn't ask Switzerland to be... Okay, Switzerland is already being influenced by Germany for our faction. Okay, so it's an automatic. Got a bit of a fright there. I was wondering what happened there. I see it did the same with uh, Sweden, if I can remember. So, yeah. Okay, so we're not going to... The Auslis of, of Austria, which is going to come, I think, about 38, 39... 38, if I'm not mistaken... We need a whole lot of uh, things to be, to be like, we need to be pay at peace, uh, at least 40 popularity or above. We need to have a pol political crisis in Austria, so all this still needs to come. These are war. This is where we declare war. All right, I'm happy with that. Now, um, technology, sorry, production. Just keep an eye on the supplies and keep an eye on the consumer goods. Very important. All right. We are artillery brigades. 35 of them. Can you remember? 35 we put in here. We want to upgrade our infantry divisions so that they got an extra brigade, which is an artillery brigade. Very important. Okay. Because it just 
We're losing a bit there. I'm not worried about that loss. I'm worried about the money loss. So let's get some diplom. Let me just see. Let's just see if we can sell. If we can sell uh, some uh, supplies. Will Soviet Union buy supplies? Will they buy? I, don't, I doubt it. They've got. Oh, they've got no money. So this is not a good idea. All right. Who's, who's the richest guys in the world? Oh, that's in Europe. Will Italy buy some. Uh, she's got a surplus. Why would she buy? Let's go to all. Okay, let's just go all and we're looking for the money, guys. USA, huge supplies. She's not going to buy supplies from us. Italy's not going to buy supplies. Mexico's not going to buy supplies. They're getting good surpluses. Saudi Arabia is like Britain, stuck up as hell. Well, she, okay, she's he's getting supplies. South Africa, my own, my own. Will South Africa buy? Please, please buy some supplies from us. Impossible, impossible. Okay, fair enough. I'm just taking a chance there. I thought maybe you'd. Think, I thought maybe you heard that I was South African, so you would decide. Okay, we'll give you a hand. New Zealand. Oh, but the money situation is scary. Okay, let's just see if she'll buy a little bit of supplies. Every little bit helps. Uh, no, no, you're not interested. I, the money, I understand New Zealand. The money is a problem. Uh, these guys, I mean, the money situation, 22, Nepal, and I don't think they'll buy from us. Sweden, 22. Jeez, we are suffering in supplies. Japan, but Japan has no money. All right, let's just leave this and let this run for a little bit. Okay, just to help us out, yeah, let's just, just run a little bit. <laughs> Maybe somebody will buy supplies from us. Let's just have a look. We're at 508. We're not critical yet. Uh, increase the speed. Let's get our diplomats up. Okay, anti-aircraft, anti-aircraft, I'm happy with that. Production, very important that we keep this consumer good bits and pieces up and down here. Yeah. Very important. Uh, okay, so we got somebody, somebody, okay. So, okay, who, fighter focus. Uh, uh, control to level two benefit. This fighter focus, I think is, yeah, isn't it the air fighter focus? Uh, ground control, which was fighter focus. If I'm not mistaken, 38 tech. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hang off on that a little bit. I'm going to hang off on that a little bit. Uh, I'm not worried about too much of the armor. But I'm going to hang off on that. I'm going to hang off until I see if there's anything else we need that we've forgotten that we can get now. Because there are some one or two techs I actually want to have a look at. Uh, 38, 38, 38. Artillery is important. Something we need to look at. Uh, pity these are 1940 techs for submarines, but yeah, I would like to have them now. Heavy cruisers, no. Bombers, any 38s that we could get through? Fighters, all 39s. We might just go with that. Okay, 38, yeah. Okay, we, we started with the supply production. Very important, and oil refinery. Very important fields. Uh, combat medicine. No, sorry, those are 30. Agricultural, manpower increase, and education. I like the manpower increase, but is it critical to us now? That's the problem. These theories are going through, which I like. We need them. They're going to keep going. Land doctrines. Fives, fives. This is a long, tough land doctrine. It's very important. Blitzkrieg. Hello, important. Now, we are in September 37. So, I think we're going we're gonna to go with this one. I, you know, it's a 10. So, the sooner we start, the better. Okay, I just I'm just curious to see what are we looking at? 1939 October, and that's our Blitzkrieg. That's a time when we're at war. We need this, and it needs to go now. That'll hang out for like almost two years. It's very important because it's about the time we need to go to when we go into Poland, the traditional Blitzkrieg, the most important one. So that one's going. We're starting him soon. Uh, we've got 20 techs and 21 are possible. Let's just keep getting let's just keep getting diplomats for now. Hmm. Just keeping an eye on the, the, the money situation. Minus five. Just 
hoping somebody's going to offer us offer us some uh, 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 another thing you know I wanted to say because customer goods let's just put this on a lower in the customer 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 goods let me just I think I've mentioned this before in Hearts of Iron 2 customer goods had a useful it gave you a bit of a benefit it gave you money let me just stop this so I just know so I can just explain it to you Hearts of Iron goods when you ranked up in customer goods if I had to improve this beyond what was required I got cash so there was a way in Hearts of Wine to in gener generate internal money internal money which simulated tax and stuff it was a very good idea I don't know why they took it out They've made customer, because with customer goods, you get nothing now. I'll show you the tilted. You get nothing. Nothing from customer goods. And uh, it used to be, it, when you hit it, and I'm saying this again, when you got it over this minimum threshold, you got cash back for it. So you could help yourself over here when you were short of cash. You could rank up the customer goods and it would give you a cash. But in Hearts of Anthene, they took that function away. And it's, irritated me because it it's it was something they should have kept it was something they should have kept because it helped you out of there and it's it was realistic to keep it because it, it it simulated internal cash like taxes and stuff like that i don't know why they took it away they've made it a little bit more difficult by removing that it's my one small bitch so this is just a, a detriment to you customer goods so you don't want it more you don't get anything for it it just helps keep this descent down Whereas before you got money for it. So I'm a little bit sad that they did that. Because it helped us here with the money. Now we've got a money situation. We've got to hope that somebody wants to buy supplies from us. Alright. So we will no longer receive two for 18 supplies. So we didn't need that. You understand? So that was... That was I thought I'd need, I think I've mentioned this before. Uh, that, that, well, this is one of, one of the small differences. It's not a bad thing. Has, the parts of Iron 3 is a way... Well, look, each game was separate in its own right. Hearts of Iron 2, for what it was, was a classic, was a fantastic game. But Hearts of Iron 3 is just added to that. They didn't, they didn't mess with the spiritual essence of the game. They just improved it in all aspects. Even in the technology, there's some bitches and moans here and there. But even in the technology, the realism, they've improved it. Especially, as I said, the trading of resources for resources and stuff. They took all that. They made, they improved it. But the only thing i got to pitch, really, is about this customer goods. Because there used to be a little bit of a benefit from it. You know, it wasn't all just to, just to keep your thing down and then suck away all your production. So, yeah. So, if you couldn't find anybody to trade with, you could always internally increase your cash through the population. And I think, you know what, if I'm not mistaken, in the first Hearts of Iron, before they patched it, that was the same. And then for some reason, in the patch, they removed that ability. And I think it was to balance the game, obviously. So there are trade-offs. Anyway, that's my little bitch and moan there. So we're sitting at seven. Now we need to start getting some money in. But I'm going to let it run, because I like these, until we get to about 200. And see if anybody else will give us, uh, give us, uh, uh, give us any trade. Oh, I'm going to have to cancel a deal here. One of these deals. One of these deals. 41 traded. Well, I'm going to have to cancel a deal where we're giving away resources for money. Because, like, we've traded away 40, 41 of this to get money. We're going to have to, sorry, let me just end this here. Okay, uh, no longer line of stores of faction, and the province is completed. Okay, what's what's happened here? We no longer receive, jeez, this is bad news. Soviet Union's killing us here. Okay, let's just update this and see where we are. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to maybe take a deficit in oil and cancel some of our deals where we are buying metal. <laughs> Get some money back if we run too short. Okay, mechanical engineering detail, uh, decay. Let's go and have a look. Uh, that's a one tech. We're gonna we're gonna research it. We're gonna carry on with this. We're gonna carry on with this up to thirty eight. Up to thirty eight, and then we go because these fields are so so important. So we're gonna keep them in these fields up to thirty eight. So we're gonna do the thirty eight one, and then we're gonna stop it there. 
we're going to do the 38 for that and the 38 or the when this comes to the 38 so we'll keep them that way happy with that just checking uh okay i do want to switch now i'm just going to keep this some more in uh i'm going to keep it a little bit more in um diplomats so we can build up our diplomats some more just up to about 30 and then we'll switch back to spies again <clears throat> anything in politics well we'll look on the first the first of of okay good who's come out uh okay that's the engineering the theory decay that's the theory decay is he going for 38 okay we're going to keep it in there all right gosh he's killing us killing us with the money situation now we're getting minus 11 okay let him keep coming obviously he doesn't need these supplies okay we're gonna see if we can do a good deal with him for supplies if we can get him it might just be the ai doing this we're gonna have to cancel a lot of these deals here where we're buying resources and also we've done we've traded for 30 fuel we might have to cancel some of this um Jeez. Okay, keep this. Let this come down a bit. Let it come down. We'll keep it as it is. And we'll build it up slowly. Get it to 11 and then build it. Got to keep an eye on this. Okay, good. Maybe we're going to get some luck here. Two supplies. Okay, we will take whatever we can get. All right. So it's coming out nicely, these artillery brigades. Oh, somebody's, somebody's come. Okay, medium tank details, Mr. Medium Tank. We need the thirty-eight tech. Sorry, y'all. We are uh, we are uh, engine two. It's going into thirty-eight. We're leaving that as it as it as it goes into thirty-eight. Cool. Okay, carry on. Hmm. So get this to thirty, then I'll switch it back to spies again, just to bring up our diplomats a little bit. Oh, I like it on this. This way we can see the countries. Uh, intelligence, fine. Keeping this, I'm happy with the way the intelligence. It's basically how it's going to be until war. There's nothing, there's no other need to improve our intelligence in certain areas with certain countries. Okay, somebody came through. Uh, land fort, glad about these land forts. Okay, medium tank arm advance. I think it's that one. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to 38. We're keeping that in 38. That's fine. Happy with that? Hmm. Land forts, very important. Uh, air bases, land forts. These land forts I built here, not just for Mickey Mouse. I built them here because when we go to, traditionally as it, as, as it works out, when we go to war in Poland, when we declare war on Poland, France and, Ge and Br Great Britain traditionally declare war on Germany. Now, I want to, this is my plan, I'm going to put the bulk of my army over here and take Poland out. And do the bits with Czechoslovakia as well, if they don't, if they don't concede. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to leave a skeleton force over here. Okay, just to keep France honest. And they don't come here and start invading me here. I'm not going to leave a little force. It's going to be a fair size, but it's going to be a skeleton. And that's why I was building forts along the side here. Just one fort each. That's the reason I was doing that. Oh, uh, what else? What came in? Mm, 20. I'm happy with that. Uh, while I went off on the tangent, did anything happen? <laughs> Just have a look here. Oh, I want to do it. Yeah, I want to get excited about this. This is an awesome game. So we got still some industrial capacity to come through. Quite a bit, which is great. It's, it's ranking up a potential here. Yeah? And anti-aircraft comes. I'm glad those forts came out. Anti-aircraft comes. The last bit of, last bit of air bases. Air bases is coming. Uh, anti-aircraft guns, air bases. Then we are on track with our U-boats. Remember, I want three sets of U-boats, six each. And then our artillery brigades are coming through. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, good. And we're taking a bit of a deficit there. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. I think, yeah, I think that's... Oh, ah, I forgot, forgot, forgot. What was I going to do here? When I got to 30, I was going to change this production. 
wait a minute, technology. Okay, I want this all back uh, into Spice. Sorry. I want this all back into Spice. So I want to get down to... Uh, let me just... Four. Four. I want it all back in Spice. Okay, we're going to keep it like that and it's all going back into Spies. Alright, and I want to just have a look at our Spy Intelligence. Okay, we're still keeping 10 active. That's very important. We want our Airbase. Airbase, good. Uh, I'm actually hoping that industrial capacity, good. I'm actually hoping that um mm, what did we say we wanted i wanted actually i wanted the soviet union i wanted to see if we can if we can sell him some uh let's just pause this if we can sell him some ah uh, soviet union please come to my rescue summer sell at 20 okay not very likely he's up to 15. okay let's accept that and see if he takes that Please take it. Ah! Okay, so we are sitting at minus 12. So that's brought us down a little bit. The money situation is running out. Let's just update it and see where we land up. Okay. Engineering mechanical delay. I'm going to look at that now. Minus 10. So we are still way behind. And we are losing a lot in that. But it's conversion rates, eh? Let's get back into that. Let's get back into that. Okay, technology is where we were. To theory decay. Were we looking at chemical engineering research DK? Okay, so that's that one. Yeah, DK. So what is it looking at? 38, 38, 38. I'm happy with that. And 36. All right, good. Let's go on. Yeah, it's just such a pity that you can't rank up the customer goods and get money for it. I think it was done for a balancing issue. Yeah, but <coughs> it's not realistic because obviously when you rank up this customer... Okay, let's stop that. Something. When you rank up that uh, medium tank reliability, let's look at the details. Armor. Yeah, no, he's going on. He's going on. Because like I said earlier, when you... It's not realistic because that simulates this. If you rank this, that would simulate internal tax, uh, war bonds, all that type of stuff. This sort of slider would essentially simulate that. And Hearts of Iron did it. So in a sense, it's not so realistic. That's in my opinion, to actually have taken away the benefit of that. Okay. But I know why they did it. I'm thinking obviously for balancing purposes. Yes, except minus 10 a day. Ugh. I love this game. It's such an awesome game, eh? Such a fantastic strategy. What? The one of the greatest military Second World War simulations ever made. You can't find anything similar. Not, not on this scale. Not on the grand scale. Oh, Soviet Union, you're killing me. You took the deal and then you stopped. What's your problem, bro? God, make up your mind. Do you want the stuff or don't you? <laughs> God, man. You're killing me. I need the dosh. All right, I'm South African. My land is very weak. So I need dosh. Oh, goodness. You're killing me, Soviet Union. You're killing me. I need some money. And we're going to get some drastic. When this thing gets down to... Not drastic, but I'm going to start cancelling some of these deals. Hang on. Now, we traded that away for money. So we can't, we can't cancel those trades. We're getting money for it. Do you understand? And if you look here, that's traded away. That's the monies we bought. So we bought resources, bought metal. We traded away. We traded for. Did we trade for any energy? I know we traded away energy for money. 
<clears throat> let's have a look at our trades. I know I'm stopping it here. I just want to keep. Okay, let's go through this carefully. Okay, we keep in that because we import money for that. Okay. Soviet Union, they give us money. Okay, a little bit of money. All right. Uh, energy. Soviet Union, how much energy? 34. And they give us, and we, we spend one or two money. 34. That's that one deal. That is that one deal. I'm going to, I'm not going to, uh, yeah, okay, we're looking for the parts where we, where we are, okay, so that's money, we're receiving money, this is what we're paying for, what are we looking at supplies, uh, that's importing that, but we're exporting money, so we want money back. Uh, how much, how much, how much money? 33, 2, we're looking for a big chunk of money. These are little monies to Haiti. I'm going to cancel that. Okay, why do we need Haiti? Chile. No, we're going to cancel this money. Let's just try and get, let's just try and get, okay, let's just try and get our money back. Because we, I, and I'm going to take all that money back. Costa Rica, we also paid money for rare materials. Yeah, I'm sorry, I should be looking at this. We're going to cancel that as well. These are little amounts. I know they add up, but we need the money back. Siam. Yeah. Just get all these little pieces of money. Yugoslavia. Yeah, we're going to cancel that deal. Hungry, no. We're giving Andri, and we're getting money for it, so we need to keep that going. How much for the, sorry, how much for the Netherlands? That's a sizable amount. This one is going, boom. And so is this one. We need that money. Uh, Sweden, do we need three deals with Sweden? One, two, and three. I think we can get rid of that deal. And we can get rid of that deal. We're going to see how this turns out. Uh, wait, 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 Sweden. Okay, we're going to keep that deal. We need the metal. I know we're going to... Italy, why are we giving rare materials? 30 and 7. We're going to cancel that deal. Let's just see if these little pieces add up. USA, we're getting money. We're giving them money for 30 metal. That's a big chunk. A two point money. Why so much? Mm. We've got to be careful here. We've got to really be careful here. I'm going to cancel this deal. Just see where we land up. Let's just see what we end up with. Okay, good. Let that just run through. At least go to the deficits of it. Because, I mean, we got quite a bit of metal. We do need more. This has made this game so challenging because you can't trade resources for resources. Ah, oh, it is Charts of Iron has challenged the hell out of it. Okay, so we're looking at 7, which is respectable. 21, 49, and 16. <laughs> we need to rank up on that. We need to rank up on that. Uh... Mm. Yo. How much has our production so far? We don't want that. Did something come through there? No. Okay, production. All right. So we are still... This is all potential production. And I want these anti-aircrafts. And I want... I actually want the artillery brigades out. Very important. Very important. That's why we are fighting for these artillery brigades. And the submarines. Very important. Okay, who stopped there? Boom. Uh, delay doctrine. Okay, so that is down here. Uh, 1939, Delay Doctrine 3. Where are we? I always get... Let me just look. It's not very clear, this. That's 37. 36. Where's the Delay Doctrine? This is a 39 Doctrine. 
<sighs> oh, it's no, it's not a 39 doctrine. It's available in it. So, delay doctrine. Where the hell it was down here? I can never find these damn things. No, that's mass assault. Delay doctrine. Okay, 38. Cancel, my friend. I love the delay doctrine. Don't get me wrong. I'm not arguing. Mobile warfare is very important. Very important. Uh, very important. And I think we're gonna we're gonna start research, and it's a 38 tech. We're gonna put some some research. That should be May 19. Also May 1939. Hey. Very important. And this and that. These are very important. Very Blitzkrieg is very important. So we are putting money in that. Uh, how are we looking? Okay, and we are still getting some spies in. I gotta just keep an eye on the production here. Ooh, brother. Okay, let's just carry on. Let's see, we are suffering in our resources. It's purely because of our, our, our IC that we whacking out here. It's fine, we'll take some losses. Oh, goodness, man, there's my clock. <sighs> I'm gonna have to end it here. Uh, okay, let's just let's just get to the next day. Now, there's a go, 23, 24. Okay, we're going to stop it there. All right, situation as it stands. Because we have now, we've I've to reduce the money requirements on this thing. I don't want to go to, you know, I don't want to, let me just make sure, I don't want to get into a situation where we are, where we have no money to buy anything. Okay, and I don't want to go into debt or request a loan or whatever thing like that. I don't like playing like that. So we are losing this money. It's not critical. We still got 205, but we're going to have to take some big hits on these to recuperate some of that money. Some of that money. Uh, yeah, we have 27,000 energy. We have 10,000, but that's per day, eh? 50 per day. We have 10,000 metal and we have uh, 40. That's 45,000 rare materials. So we've got a ton of rare materials. In fact, we are losing more metal than we are actually rare materials. So we're going to look at that. I must remember that. Those two there. there this the oil fluctuates. Crude oil. So it's fine. It depends on how much is sucked over here. Seven points of money. I'm happy with the situation with the way it's set up. I'm happy with everything else. But we're going to come back and look at this. I'm going to have to maybe take some... Uh, buy some more metal and reduce the sales of uh, rare materials because remember just remember rare materials is half it's 45 that's 40 45 that's 45,000 items of rare materials and it's only each IC only uses half but metal they use one and energy uses two so it's not use. it's using 17 okay so we can and it's got a ton there so we can actually I'm going to rearrange this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some more metal and I'm going to get rid of, because we traded, we traded for 100 and, yeah, we've, we've traded for uh, 126 over here and we've traded for 112. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get the money back for that. We're going to stop buying in rare materials and put more into there. And then just help us with the money situation. And I'm going to see if we can get some more supplies. All right, that's for the next video. We'll carry on with that. All right, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, please like this video. Share it with your friends and family, whoever. And please subscribe to my channel. It's free. You know, I'm doing playing these awesome games. It's one of my favorite games. I love this game. It's really such a good game. And uh, leave comments and suggestions. All right, until our next video, Hearts of Iron 3 video. This is Sean from the Games Yard. Uh, good day on you.